how's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be attempting to get a sweep off with, with the original pseudo legendary, that being Dragonite. So let's not waste any time and let's go ahead and straight into it. Now this is the Dragonite I'm going to be running. It's a Jolly Nature Dragonite with max EVs and attack and speed. And it has the multi-scale ability. Now for item choice I'm going to be running a weakness policy on it. And for the moveset I'm going to be running Thunder Punch, Fly, Super Power, and Fire Punch. So it's a very offensive Dragonite. And I try to give it as much coverage as possible. So I hope you guys do enjoy today's video. If you do, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. And as always, in the comments below, let me know what you want to see next. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into some battles. And I hope you guys enjoy. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and get into the battle right here. So here I'm going to be leaning in with my Skarmory and setting up some entry hazards. And then I'll go from there. So here my opponent's going to lead in with a Cinderace, and I'm always going to lead in with Skarmory as I mentioned earlier. Now Cinderace definitely has a huge type advantage over my Skarmory, so that's pretty bad for me. However, I was pretty confident my Skarmory could take at least one hit from this Cinderace no problem, since it is extremely bulky on the physical side. So the first thing I do is go for the Stealth Rocks to go ahead and get that on the field. The Cinderace is going to fire off a Pyro Ball. Which does some massive damage to my Skarmory, but I do manage to hang on, and my red card's gonna kick in. And it's gonna force the Cinderace to switch out, and it drags out a Lapras. And now my Stealth Rocks is gonna get on the field, so whenever my opponent switches out, their next Pokemon will be taking some damage coming in. So here I could have tried to set up the first layer of spikes, but I'm actually going to go ahead and try to get rid of the Lapras off the field with my Whirlwind. My opponent actually elects the Gigantamax this turn. So now I'm going to have to deal with G-Max Lapras, which is an absolute tank if he sets it up right. So G-Max Lapras comes out. It fires off its G-Max move, which surprisingly enough actually doesn't KO my Skarmory. It brings me down to low health, but it actually doesn't KO, which surprised me a little bit. My Whirlwind did fire off, but thanks to the power of Dynamax, it didn't do anything. And my Skarmory is going to get to really, really low health now. So here I go for Spikes, just to see if I can maybe set up at least one layer before my Skarmory went down. I actually do end up being able to fire off that first layer of spikes, which is pretty good for me. So now my opponent's Pokemon will take even more damage coming in. And the Lapras goes for its G-Max move again, which KOs my Skarmory. So that's one down on my side. Here I'm going to switch into Rebombi and try to get Sticky Web on the field so I can get some speed control as well. So my Rebombi comes out. I go for the sticky web immediately. It fires off, so now I have three entry hazards on the field. I have stealth rock, spikes, and sticky web. The Lapras goes for a max steel spike, which does massive damage here to my Rebombi, but doesn't nearly doesn't bring me down to one health, excuse me. And its Dynamax turns run out, so now my opponent already wasted his Dynamax candidates for this game, so. I did have that advantage going for me. Now here I could have gone for Tailwind, but I actually go for the Stun Spore, hoping to paralyze this Lapras so I can set up on it. My Stun Spore fires off, and it paralyzes the Lapras, which is pretty good for me. The Lapras goes for a Smart Strike, which is going to go ahead and take out my Rebombi. So now I switch into Poltegeist. And I'm going to try to get the Shell Smash Baton pass off. And then I'm going to go ahead and try to switch into my Dragonite and Sweep from there. So I go for the Shell Smash immediately.
My Shell Smash fires off and it's gonna raise my attack, special attack and speed at the cost of my defenses. But thanks to my White Herb, my defenses go back to normal. The Lapras actually went for Horde Drill, which doesn't affect my Poltergeist, so pretty much failed. And I'm going to go ahead and Baton Pass and go into my Dragonite and hopefully sweep from there. My opponent ends up with drawing the Lapras and switches into a Zerud, which is fine. So I pretty much got the Baton Pass for free right here, and my Dragonite won't be taking any damage coming in. So I Baton Pass, and my Dragonite's gonna come out. So I'm going to go ahead and immediately Dynamax. Now I, here I had a few options. I could have gone for the Max Knuckle or the Max Airstream to either raise my attack or speed. But ultimately I decided to go for the Max Airstream since that's one of the stats where Dragonite lacks the most. So I'm going to go ahead and Dynamax my Dragonite. And hopefully KO this the root in one hit while raising my speed simultaneously. So my Dynamax Dragonite comes out. My Max Airstream is going to fire off and a one hit KO is a root, so that's one down on my opponent's side. And I get a little boost in speed. My opponent switches back into the Lapras, which immediately takes damage from Stealth Rock spikes and loses speed as well. So now you can see that my pretty much my setup is already complete. My opponent's Pokemon lose speed and lose a bunch of their health coming in, and from there I can pretty much one-hit KO almost anything. So here I'm going to go ahead and fire off a Max Knuckle to KO this Lapras as well as get an attack boost. The Lapras goes down, so that's two down on my opponent's side now. And I get another attack boost. My opponent switches into a Tyranitar. Which is going to go ahead and kick up a Sandstorm, so now I'm going to be taking a little bit of passive damage throughout the turns. So here I'm going to go for a second Max Knuckle, hoping to KO this Tyranitar in one hit as well, while raising my attack even more. My Max Knuckle fires off, and it takes out the Tyranitar in one hit, so that's three down on my opponent's side. And I get another attack boost, so now my attack is pretty much almost maxed out. And there's really nothing that my opponent has that could pretty much survive a single hit, especially with the setup I had going. My opponent switches into a Calyrex. And my Dynamax turns are actually going to run out right here, so I tried to get as many boosts as I could while I was still Dynamaxed, and I got quite a few, so I was pretty happy with that. And 
Now here I pretty much had three moves to choose from. Thunder Punch, Fly, or Fire Punch. And ultimately I decided to just go ahead and go for the Fire Punch to see how much damage if I could KO. My Fire Punch fires off, and thankfully thanks to those attack boosts it KOs the Calyrex no problem. So now my opponent was pretty much down to two Pokemon right here. And I pretty much had the game won already, but... I was hoping that he wouldn't rage quit on me. He switches back into the Cinderace. Here I go for the Thunder Punch. But the Cinderace goes for the Sucker Punch, so it's actually going to hit me here. But I hadn't really lost much health, so I was expecting to be able to survive no problem, which I do. My Thunder Punch fires off, and it takes out the Cinderace. So now my opponent's pretty much down to his last Pokemon right here. My opponent sends out his last Pokemon, which actually ends up being an Urshifu. So here I go ahead and go for the superpower, hoping to one-hit KO, but my opponent ends up forfeiting the match. So, pretty bad ending to our battle, but either way I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. And as always, like I said earlier, go ahead and let me know what you want to see next down in the comments. But with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, and peace.